I've been challenged by Mr. Beast to find a nugget, and I want to find one. Well, hello everyone, Dan Her with Dan Her Prospecting here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. I am here on my dream claim. I have been challenged to find a nugget within one week. I've got four days left, and I am gonna do my very best to find the best nugget I can. There's only one claim I have that I can guarantee to find nuggets on, and that is the dream claim. So we're here today with the Bobcat, a little excavator, the permits are in place, we're all ready to go. I'm gonna find a nugget. So wish me luck, and I hope you enjoy. So we've had permits in on this claim for about six months, ready to go here, just planning for the right time. Now the right time was going to be next spring when it warmed up. But as you can see by the frost on the hills, it's not spring. <laughs> it is late fall and frozen solid here. But I was challenged to find that nugget and I am up for the challenge. We're going to do it. So we're here on short notice in a rush, trying to do our best in very bad conditions. Ground is frozen. Very bad conditions uh, to see what we can do. Down below there, these are our old workings and we know down below there, there is nuggets. We rented an excavator because I haven't got my own yet. We towed the bobcat all the way up here, all to find one nugget for the challenge. And for this little four day stint, we're just gonna be using my little simple passive wash plant here. This has no moving parts. It's basically just a giant high banker. You dump the material in there, it goes over a grizzly, out a sluice. No moving parts. I do have a trommel specifically for this claim. A buddy of mine made one, said I could use it, but it's way up north and I couldn't get it here in time. So we brought in the old, wash plant that we had to kind of resurrect. It'll do, it'll find that one nugget. Dad came up to help set everything up and tow all the machines up. Let's see what we can do. And this is our second day on site. We gave ourselves one day to set everything up, including towing all the machinery in. We had two glitches along the way. We lost a tire on the Bobcat, came off the rim. We had to repair that. And one of our water pumps was not working. Luckily, my dad's a Honda mechanic. He ripped the whole thing apart last night in the motel room, put it all back together. One of the seals was gone. It should be good to go today. Dad's awesome. What else do I have to tell you? I am not making money this trip. There is no way I'm gonna find enough gold in that pit to pay for everything we've done here. It's gonna cost us about $5,000 in order to run for these four days. We're gonna be lucky if we pull one to $2,000 worth of gold out, lucky. But I have been challenged to find that nugget and I'm not giving up on that challenge, no matter how much it costs me. And another reason I don't mind losing a bit of money to find this nugget today is this is a big learning experience. I have never run an excavator before. So we rented this little guy for me to learn how to work an excavator. This is my first time digging with an excavator. Also, we are learning a little bit along the way. We wanna run a couple of test holes to see what kind of gold is actually down there. We did the tests with the high banker in the past found in about three yards of material, six grams of gold, that's good, but we need to see if moving bulk with machines has a similar grade. So it's not just me needing to complete that challenge, which makes it so I'm okay losing about $5,000 doing this. I have budgeted that into this project here just to learn what the gold is like here and learning how to machine mine, of course. Never stop learning. Well, for my first time on an excavator, it's a steep, well, it's a learning curve. That took me a long time to dig like five scoopfuls, <laughs> but we're getting it. Got it in the wash plant. Our hoses are frozen, which we don't have the water pressure we'd like, but I think as water flows through, it'll uh, thaw them out better. We're mining. We're finding a nugget. This stuff here is all overburden and tailings from a previous run. We want to make sure we get all the kinks worked out before we start putting the good stuff through. Looking good, looking good. Unfortunately, this plant here, you know, we're lucky if we can put two yards an hour through it. It's a very, very slow plant, but it'll be enough to find us one nugget. One nugget is all I want, one nugget. So I'm slowly getting the hang of the excavator, but we have a bit of an issue with our sluice box. We have to change the geometry a little bit. Uh, we have to make it steeper. If we don't have enough water for what we're running through, 
So we need to make it a bit steeper so that it will actually flush those uh, one inch rocks through. We've got a one inch grizzly on this and the amount of water we have coming just isn't enough for the one inch grizzly, unfortunately. Nothing we can't fix with a few modifications. So we just pushed the rest of the material through. The amount of water we have and the angle is not bad for the 10 inch sluice, but when it goes up to 14 inch, there's just not enough angle or not enough water, not of anything. So we're gonna take the excavator, dig a trough, get more angle on that because we can't get any more water. We'll have to get more angle. Let's go turn off the pump. Steeper angle now. Our tailings pond is freaking huge. We could pump for a week straight and not even get a tenth of the way full. So we are great for tailings. So easy enough to put the bottom end down a bit more and see how that goes. I'm liking it right now. I think we're ready for round two. I need to check to see if there's any nuggets. The stuff I dug was all tailings from before and basically the topsoil, the overburden. We're not down onto the good stuff yet. Okay, firing up the pump. We'll go for another half hour run and evaluate how the sluice is running. We'll get it dialed in. Look at this frost. We've been here for two days now and the frost hasn't gone away, so it hasn't got above zero. Not once. Couple quick adjustments and we like the look of what we've got going on here. Still a few rocks building up, but the top section is where the nugget will fall out if we find one. And it looks pretty good. When we find one. When we find one. I like the way you think. Well, let's go dig one up and put it in the box. Well, here we go, round three. We haven't even looked in the sluice yet. We're hoping. We're getting it figured out. We know our water levels, we know our angles. We're getting it figured out nicely. Dad supervises very well. I'm really not liking the material that we're uh, working at the bottom here. It is not what I expected. I know this pit. We did a lot of work in this pit and the nuggets were always on a clay bedrock. I keep going down and down and down and we don't see the clay anywhere down there. We're almost at the extent of what I can dig without stepping myself down. And there's no clay. Right on the other side of that rock there, two feet down we had clay, nothing here. So it must be on such a steep angle that we're just not getting it. Our thought here is to drop the big rocks into the bottom, push all of the old tailings on top, then move the excavator over and dig down right there. If we don't find the clay bedrock, we're not getting the nuggets. I can tell you right now, we won't get it. We won't have had a nugget in this material yet. But that's nugget shooting for you. You either get it or you don't. We gotta get to the spot where we can get it. Let's keep digging. We're here for four days. On this video, we're gonna put two days worth in. I'm gonna finish off today in this pit. At the end of the day, we'll fill all this in and move back to where we're pretty sure the bedrock is. A little confused, but that's gold mining. It's all a big gamble. No clay. We need the clay. Where's the clay? Well, I've decided two more scoopfuls, and if there's no clay, we're done here. I'm gonna fill in and go back towards the bank more where I know the clay is. Because there's just no point if I'm not putting gold in the box, there's just no point in putting more material in the box. We will get the nugget. Well, I did not wanna have to do this. That was a lot of work to dig that hole, 
but I can't dig any deeper and we didn't hit bedrock. We're gonna throw some of the bigger rocks in there. We're gonna drop that guy because he's where I want to dig. And then all of this tailings from our handwork we'll put on top and fill it in and make a parking spot. I'll park the excavator there and we'll dig down. Once we find the bedrock, we'll follow it right and left, up and down, in and out. Once we find the bedrock, then we should start finding gold. It was a good learning day. And don't worry, as I said, we'll be putting two days into this video. So hopefully, hopefully, by the end of the second day, we'll have some nice gold to show you. And who knows, maybe we're lucky. Maybe there's something in the box now. I can't do this one-handed. <clears throat> Time to get a tripod or something for the camera. I wasn't thinking. I should have detected the hole before I put anything in it. Okay, there are no gold signals in the hole. Now I get to fill it in. Dropping that rock is going to be a challenge. I've got to chain onto it, pull it in, but first I'm going to undermine the edge. Let's see if we can get this rock in the hole with the chain. Oh yeah, she'll come real easy. A little bit of bobcat work. Move some of those heavier rocks. This thing doesn't dig so well, but it can move really heavy things. Okay, need two hands now. Good learning day for sure. I am like 10,000 times better on an excavator. Uh, we learned about how deep the overburden is here. Learned a lot about that. We are learning a little bit about our tailings. Our tailings have a lot of decomposed clay left in them. We ran a little bit and it looks real good. Learned a bit about our water pumps not working so well. Not enough water. Tomorrow will be a better day because we learned so much today. We will still be cleaning out that sluice and seeing what's in it. Oh yeah. It's hard to believe after a full day of running here, our tailings pond doesn't even have enough water in it to pump from. Our idea was to move the pump up here. So once this was full, we could just recirculate right from here. The ground is taking the water so fast, we don't even have six inches of water at the bottom. And when we shut down, that six inches goes away in five minutes. If you're seeing a whole bunch of buildup in the sluice, I actually want that. I'm good with that. I told dad to stop clearing that. If a nugget does start getting blasted through the top, it's gonna hit that buildup area and just stick there. So I'm okay with that. I actually really like how the whole sluice is running. We're just about to push through the last little bit and then we're going to clean out the sluices. Liking how this is all working. We're losing light though. We probably only have half an hour before the sun is gone. And I'm sure dad wants dinner by now. Let's do a quick clean up of the top mat and see if we've got anything. So if we were crazy lucky enough to get a nugget in the first day, it'll be up there in the nugget catch at the very top where all those rocks are. So we're just going to clean that out. We'll clean the rest out after tomorrow's run. Nugget, nugget, nugget. Come on, nugget. I don't see anything, but pretty deep in material. Put that in the pan and find out. And let me make excuses before I even do this. This is a nugget claim. We're either finding a big nugget or we're probably not finding much at all. And the fact we never got down to bedrock, I'm going with not much at all in this first day. But day two, we will be on bedrock. Oh, dad's got the pan. Ah! Let's see what we got. This is just the stuff I can grab off the top. Oh, okay. Of the nugget uh, catch. Yep. So it probably has nothing in it. But that stuff still in the mats is where a nugget will be if there is one today. The great nugget challenge. Nothing on top. Let's get some water in there. Oh, right, there's a 10 inch, not an 8. It doesn't quite fit in the pan. We have to do this differently. There's the good stuff. Here, Dad, hold the camera. All right, hold the camera. Which way should I aim it? At your face. No. Does the overburden hold any gold? Because we never got down onto the pay on bedrock. Tomorrow will be the day. It is getting really dark here. It's getting dark here. We're going to get these lines iced. Any gold for today. Four or five little specks, one good size flake. But a day of running with machines, 
<laughs> Gotta find that bedrock. That does not pay the bills, that's for sure. And that's definitely not gonna complete this challenge. Tomorrow, we'll do it. Light's fading. We got a lot of work to do before the night freezes up here. I'll see you tomorrow morning, right here. And here we are, back for day two. Yesterday was all a big learning day. Today, we're finding the nuggets. It's still early in the morning and everything is frozen solid. We're currently heating up some water to start thawing things out because everything is frozen including us. We got a little bit of work to do with tailings and whatnot before we get running. I plan to film a lot more today. Yesterday was a big learning day. I didn't pull out the camera very much at all. Today, I hope to show you what we're doing, explain things a lot more, explain about this challenge, and let you guys have fun with us. So, let's get at her. We don't want to use all of our panning water, either. We can get more water if we need it. Yeah. Now I thought this hill was steep enough that the coarse tailings would go away on their own, but they are still piling up a bit here. So I'm going to take the excavator and dig that down so we'll have more of a chance of them just going away on their own today. We're thawing out some of the material that we left in the sluice box yesterday. We thought we'd just clean out the top mats, but we realized it's best to clean out the whole bottom mat, see how it's all going. So we poured some warm water in there. Dad's heating up some more warm water to melt that. We'll clean all of that out and make sure that, you know, there was no nuggets up top here. Maybe there's 20 down there and that tells us something about the sluice. Over here, I've made myself a little platform. That's where I'm digging today. Now, if you haven't been following along on my channel, the last few videos, you'll notice I've been talking about this nugget challenge that Mr. Beast gave me. I was lucky enough to do a video with Mr. Beast where I was teaching him and his gang how to pan. And we found specks, tiny specks of gold. We did find gold, but it was small and they wanted to see what a real piece of gold looked like. So the crew down at Mr. Beast gave me the challenge to find a nugget before they finished off shooting their whole video, which was a week's time. I'm now on day five, and we got two days left here to find that nugget because I've been challenged by Mr. Beast to find a nugget and I want to find one. So we're going to do our best today. I'm sure we'll get onto bedrock today and I'm sure we'll find a nugget. Okay, first indications of the clay bedrock right here. Okay, I've been digging a long time. I thought it was closer, but there is the clay. Once we're on the clay, we can follow it. If it goes down, we go down. If it goes up, we go up. We just keep following the bedrock. Some of these big rocks are a pain to move. I've been moving rocks all morning here, trying to get down to that bedrock. We don't want to start running until afternoon when it starts warming up a little bit because water is cold. Uh, so I've just been moving material trying to get down onto the best, best stuff. And finally, I find the clay. Big rocks! We're on the bedrock! Let's hope we're on the gold. Lots of clay coming up now. We're clearing lots and lots of clay. I want to get down to it over there, but over here we got it nice. At some point I got to drop the two big rocks. I keep tapping them to make sure they're solid, but uh, well, at some point they're gonna, we'll make a big hole and just drop them into the hole. How's the sluice running? Good. Dad needed a break to warm up. It's cold working in water when it's so cold out here. He's soaking wet, so he's uh, just sitting by the fire warming up. I will man the sluice for a bit. I just loosened up over here the best probably 10 scoops of the trip so far. I'm clearing bedrock all the way around. That clay right bedrock. there is bedrock. And probably about 10 scoops worth of material here that is the very best I have seen. Great little pocket over here. Just loving what I'm seeing. Thank you, Jasco Rentals, for the excavator. Fuel up the pumps. Isn't this crazy, the frost? The sun is up right there, but the frost here just never leaves. The sun never hits us. This is looking good. Look at that bedrock layer. The bedrock here is just this decomposed clay, and down in the bottom, you can't see it yet because my PayPal has come down over it, but there's a trough. It actually goes up to the left, up to the right. Both sides are up 
So there's a trough in the bottom. Excited to chase that up under that rock. But this guy will have to go at some point. He's just too big. That guy will have to go too. But looking good. Looking really good. I think what I'll do is I will clear this, this whole bowl here perfectly. I'll scrape everything. I'll go back as far as I can. We'll do a complete clear of that. And then we'll drop these in. I just did a sweep in there with the metal detector. Nothing went off. we are we have one heck of a bedrock trench and I just took the metal detector and swung over the bottom and I get a signal that goes both iron and gold so I'm gonna go dig it out put it in a pan find out what it is it sometimes goes gold mostly iron well the signal was right there and now right there and it's looking more and more like gold. Oh, dad is good. He's been heating up water and putting in our panning tub. So it's not going to be freezing cold. See what's in the pan. Nope, nothing in the pan. I don't know what the signal was. It was back and forth, but I gotta go fill up the pump again. We're running out of gas. Well, we filled up the pump. We filled up the hopper. We'll let dad run through one last hopper load, which is probably what, quarter yard? probably a quarter yard well he does that I've cleared the bedrock perfectly down there there is nothing more in that bedrock trench I could possibly get so it's time to do the deed I don't know if I'm gonna dig more out this side or more out that side but I want to drop that rock hmm. let me think this through that's a big rock she don't want to move Considering it's overhanging so much right now, there must be so much in behind it. Not budging. Well, we got it wiggling, but it's not coming down tonight. You'll see it come down in the next video, unless the rock wins. Right now, dad tells me we're just about ready to clean up. Down to turn off the water. And then we get to see what kind of nuggets we got today. Well, looking at the box, this piece of gold shone back at me first. There's actually two right there. Just picked around a little bit in here. And just looking up there, I see a nugget. Oh, I, I might be able to pick that up. Come on, there it is. That is a two gram nugget. Maybe even a bit more. Ah, gram and a half. Gram and a half. We've got nuggets. Oh, let's hope there's a whole lot more in here. I think we'll see it off on this left-hand side where it all accumulates on like the, the left-hand side. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, no. Oh. I got excited. I got excited. Uh I'm not positive that's not. No, it's not. Oh, there's one. Another one? Oh, it's a big one. <laughs> Is the camera getting this? I should get close up. It's really dark in here. Yeah. There's a uh, 4 grammar in here. <laughs> Let's hope it's five or six because my second biggest nugget is a four grammar. So my biggest is eight. You see it right there? Okay. Yeah. My biggest is eight. My second biggest is four. I'm hoping for a nine or bigger. Like Just... you're hoping for a 17. Okay, I'm hoping for a 17 because Paulie's got a 16. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this out in a pan. Off with the hard hat, on with the real hat. And I got the close up. Let's go have a look at those nuggets. It's pretty dark down here. Yeah. We might need to pull this out a bit to get the uh, proper you're, shots. We're ready to pull. Okay, now it's out in the open a bit more. There's our first little nugget. It's just a little guy here. Here's the second nugget. That I'm thinking is two grams. Pretty little thing. And the third nugget, I'm thinking that's four to six grams in that range. But big nuggets like this, I'm really having a hard time guessing. So it could be anything. Well, let's look to see if there's more. And poking around, I saw another shiny right there. Oh, and another one. There's another one below it. There's two there. One, two. There's another one here, Dad. There's two more, actually. Another one right there. And right beside it. 
So in the camera right now, we see four nuggets, five nuggets if you call the little guy a nugget. I think it's time to put it in a pan and start panning it out. Dad wanted to do the lower mats first. I want to do the upper mats first. Uh, <laughs> Dad's rinsing the lower mats into a bucket. Then we're going to be able to wash out the upper mats into the pan. We want to see the nuggets, so we're going to do the upper pan first. Well, I lost count of how many pieces of gold I saw go into that pan. I know of a nugget that's probably four to six grams. I saw two or three one to two gram nuggets and a whole lot of smaller pieces. This could be fun. <laughs> how much material do you think we ran today? I worked that out to five yards. I guessed four. So I panned the first one down to just concentrates. Dad's patting the second one down to just to concentrates. So we're gonna put all the little cons in one to give you a big reveal at the end. Well, full day of digging with an excavator, running through a wash plant, is now concentrated down to one coffee cup worth of cons. Let's go down to the river and pan those out. So we're down here at the river to pan this out just because it is such a scenic spot. And if this is the biggest nugget of the Mr. Beast Gold Nugget Challenge, well then I wanna find it here in such a beautiful spot. I know there's at least one in there. And doing this at the river gives us nice clean water to work with too. Oh, I see gold everywhere already. Gold nuggets everywhere. Wash off that muddy water. Okay, let's do this. Here we are, the Mr. Beast Gold Nugget Challenge. What do we have after Four days on the claim. Four days on the claim reveals gold and lots and lots of it. Woo the big nugget there is probably, I'm guessing, eight hundred to a thousand dollars worth of gold. Nice. There we go. In one week, I found my second largest nugget ever. It's amazing what a little bit of motivation will do for a guy. <laughs> my best guess here is probably 13 to 14 grams of gold, maybe up to even 16. That would be a half ounce of gold. This is worth well over a thousand dollars. Not bad for a day run, not bad. Now this is the most picturesque claim I have. The the sun is not on the water right now to show how blue, like a sapphire blue it is. But hey, look up in the sky for a sec. The sun is on the mountain. Beautiful. Well, if that doesn't make a guy happy, you're not a gold miner. I'm guessing 13 to 14 grams of gold there. And yesterday we moved probably four yards. Today we moved probably five. In nine yards, 14 grams. That is a good good average. So my guess was 13 grams here. Let's throw it on the scale and see what it comes out to. I'm not very good at guessing with this big chunky gold. The big nugget comes out to 5.27 grams. The next biggest, which I figured was about a gram to a gram and a half, 0.73. So I'm a bit off. And the really dirty one, again I thought was over a gram, 0.68. And all together, in what we figure was about 9 yards of material, we have 9.7 grams. More than a gram a yard. Not bad. I did it! I found a nugget! If you haven't seen that video I would keep talking about with Mr. Beast, I'll leave a link below to the Mr. Beast channel where I teach Mr. Beast how to gold pan. And that's why we have the gold nugget challenge. I had an awesome day. Maybe the most gold I found in one day ever. Myself, with the help of my dad, of course. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave me that thumbs up. If I haven't earned your subscription yet, I hope I earned it today. And a big thanks to everyone, especially my patrons. Because of support of my patrons, I get to make these weekly episodes of Dan Heard Prospecting. Have a great day, everyone. And until the next one, bye.